in this week's Talking About Orcs, we're going over Chapter Proof 2019. Even though it's not out yet, all the points have been released. And so we know what we're getting. And actually, it's pretty good. And for the most part, uh, just exactly right on target. Um, and the best part of all is that we didn't really get any nerf hammers to the souped up Shaka, which is what I was expecting. Let's go over first the new buggies. All four new buggies got a price drop. Uh, the Boom Daka Snaz Wagon went down 20 points. The Custom Booster Blaster went down 20. The Megatrack Scrapjet went down 10. The Rocket Truck Squig Buggy went down 40. 40 points. That's a significant drop, which is exactly what it needed. And the Shock Jump Dragster went down 18. And that was already really good at its price point. So now the Shock Jump Dragster is like 102. Scrapjet is an even 100 points, and yeah, those are pretty good. I think the uh, other two options, the Boom Deck S Naz Wagon and the Custom Booster Blaster, are going to have some opportunities to be tried out at least at their new point points cost. So um, hopefully they won't be too bad at what you get for them. Yeah, so the boom deck is now is going to be like, well, going to be like under 100. Same with the custom booster blaster. So yeah, that's some good deals there for those two. And I think, yeah, yeah, I definitely think the uh, those two at under 100 points each are definitely going to see some tabletop play. So what else do we got here? So we got. The Defcoptus dropped 10 points to a measly 20 points base per model, which means with the twin base shooters, you're talking 30 points per model, which will really help you fill up that brigade detachment if that's what you do, which is what a lot of people are already using them for. But just a straight up 30 point savings off that brigade is going to be very useful. And even with the rockets, you're still talking 44 points for twin rockets. Yeah, maybe, just maybe they'll see some more tabletop play too. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Warp bike knobs dropped five points. Yeah, they're still way too much. Um, the Scorcher missiles for the Burnabama dropped 15. So that's going to make a big difference on on the value of those. I think now if you're going to take a Burnabama, the uh, uh, Scorcher missiles are kind of like an auto include. I would have preferred them to give them a 20 point weapon profile instead make the weapon better instead of cutting the points cost but uh that's still not a bad burn up bomber is still going to be way too many points still talking what uh 122 or 127 127 with the scorching missiles you know it's a lot better than it was it's still not playable but it's better yeah, especially go back to my old burn a bomber my recent burn a bomber videos flash gets dropped six points so that's 30 points over a unit of five and that's a pretty significant drop and so now a unit of five instead of being 154 with their targeting squid or uh, ammo runt now it's just going to be a mere 124. So, yeah, we'll have to definitely try get out my flash kits and give them a try. Uh, Def Dreads and uh, Kill Cans both dropped 10 points each. So, Kill Cans now, with that base cost of 30 points, and so the minimum point would be. Uh, Pretty sure the can claw is still going to be zero. Yeah. So the minimum points cost for a kill a can with a big shooter is going to be 35 points. That's not a bad value. You give them a rocket launcher now, we're talking 42 points. What does that give you a unit of six? Quick math. 252 for a full unit of six hands. Of course, if you go back to my can video, you still need to support them. They have to have that war boss nearby. Otherwise, their morale is going to take them out faster than anything else. So, yeah, you need that Breaking Heads ability nearby. Or you can take a big mech with the force field and give him the 
Warlord trait that gives him the Breaking Heads ability with the Kill of Hands. That's something I forgot to mention in that video. You can actually do that. So you get the KFF and the Breaking Heads in one model for nothing, for no extra cost. Just something to think about there. Death Dreads. Let's see, Dread Claw, 15. So that's 10. So Death Dreads, or Dreadnoughts, as they are, should be properly called. 45 points base. And then with four melee weapons, this would be 75, 80, 95 points with four melee weapons. Still, I mean, you still, they're still just dreadnoughts, or, but, and you can even drop that cup price down, you give them two big shooters instead. So now we're talking, what is it, 45, 30, 75, 85, yeah. 85 minimum price for, for dreadnought. Yeah, that's not too bad. That is not too bad. Uh, they were always marginally viable, but at 10 points, points, 10 point price drop might actually make them even better but yeah i mean 95 points with four class com close combat weapons two points for teleporter for unit of three and go for it um let's see i think the sad thing though was the stompa did drop in price not 500 points not 100 points but 50 points um, yeah, um, it's still sad and pathetic. Um, so let's not jump for joy on that 50 point price drop for the Stompa. It still needs another 300 point, 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 300 point drop or 400 point drop to even begin to be table viable. But anyway, um, again, if you want to go back to my Stompa video, it was, you can go over what I talked about that. That was a very popular, a lot of comments on that video though. Uh, so I do appreciate all those comments. That was very popular. Um, Burna Boys dropped two points. So they're still not going to be as good as they used to be, but um, and they're still not going to be unfortunately usable in Teleporta. That's the biggest problem they have. Is you can't put them in teleporters because you have to be nine inches away, and of course their flamers are only eight inches. But we'll see if the two-point price drop makes any difference. Uh, let's see. That was pretty much all the price drops. There was one slight nerf, and the smasher guns went up two points. Whole whopping two points. So now instead of a mech gun being 31 points, it's 33 points. And so now a full complement of smash guns is 600 points. And someone said, I don't think GW has ever played, seen anyone play an 18 smash gun list. Because if they had, two points would have been um, just the start. Because, you know, 600 points, but it's 18 models. Each one has to be targeted individually. They're not units. And they can deploy six inches apart. Not two, not four, but six. You can spread out these things all over your deployment zone and just not worry about, I mean, that is so much board control and so much firepower. And you have to shoot each one individually, which also slows down the game, could conceivably slow down the game. But since it's only a few shots each, it doesn't take very long. But yeah, um, not too bad. Of course, the smashing gun will also increase the price of the uh, was bomb by two because it has a smash gun so that takes the was bomb now up to 161 points with the now 18 point smash gun on it um or me or 191 if you want to take the two super shooters with it still kind of spendy but still totally worth it so those are the points changes, and overall I'm pretty happy. Again, still sad about the Stompa. It still needs a huge price drop or some serious buffs. Again, I'm not going to go over it. I'm not going to dwell on that. I just did a video on the Stompa last week, so if you want to, you can go back and watch that one. Flash kits, you know, I've never played them. On paper they sound okay, but online people swear by them. Who've, I haven't actually played them yet. But people who have played them absolutely swear by them. So, you know, I might have to start looking at them, especially with that pretty significant price drop they had. We'll have to see. 
But there are two other things I want to talk about that aren't points drops. And that is in the code in the chapter approved entries for the orcs, there is a big mech with custom force field for 55 points and 20 for the KFF. So 75 points. So that means the big mech with custom force field is not going to legends. And that is incredible. If you go back to my when when the video I was talking about legends, I really was irked <laughs> that this particular model was going to be out of competitive play more than any other because it is such a mainstay of the orc army and has been literally for more than ten for more than a decade, ever since the fourth edition codex dropped. The custom force field has been absolutely vital to orc success. And getting rid of that cheap force field um, it's just, it was just devastating, but now it's going to stay, so we don't have to worry about it. Of course, we're still going to lose a big mech on a bike, which does hurt faster armies. Um, so you, again, might have to be moving to WAS bombs for that, but at least we get to keep the regular big mech with custom force field and for the same price. So that's very, very good news, but that's not it. There was also a Forge World update. And in the units in the Forge World update, part of it is a war boss on war bike. Not just that snark, because that snark the Ripper is there for his 100 and I can't read 120 points, 110 points. 110. Sorry, my pictures are blurry. But our standard war boss on war bike for 95 would give him a power claw then would be 110. So that is a price jump, quite a bit of a price jump from the index entry, but War Boss on War Bike is also not going to Legends. So that means we're going to be losing the Big Mech on bike, the Pain Boy on a bike, and the the Labas and Cannons. I think that's it. I think that's all that's left, right? I don't know. For sure, but the only real significant loss is going to be the big mech on bike. So this is also very because war boss on war bike with the with the warlord trace and the kill claw, being able to solo a knight <laughs> in one shot is always going to be fun to do. So having to keep that around, even at the the points increase, what it's going to be over what it used to be is nothing too shabby. I'd rather have it at that points increase than not have it at all. It's like a 12-point 12 point, 12 point, point increase, something like that. Nine points increase. So it used to be 86, now it's 95 base. So a nine-point increase for the War Boss and War Bike. I think that's fair. I mean, it was probably a little under overpowered for its price point before, so nine points is perfectly fine. But the fact is, we get to keep it, and it's it's wonderful. Again, so really, really, the only major loss we're going to have from Legends is the big mech on a bike, which is still bad, but absolutely much better news than it used to be. So anyway. Some really good news overall from Chapter Approved. We might see some new buggies on the table more. Um, the feared increase of grass to four points turns out to, to have been a false rumor, which is great. Um, there are still a lot of units that still need some price drops. Um, the flyer said the two useless flyers, the Burner Bomber and Blitz Bomber, are still useless. The Battle Wagons could probably have a, a little bit of a points drop. Um, but you know, overall, we're in a pretty good position, I have to think, after this chapter of proof comes out. And so, yeah, let me know what you think about these changes. I'm pretty darn happy. It could be better. It could definitely be better. But really, I can't complain. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts below. Also forgot to mention here real quick is that the Psychic Awakening books coming up have been... Uh, teased and looks like Saga of the Beast is set for March 
So that looks like when we're going to be getting new orc goodies, and I, for one, simply cannot wait to see what happens. Because our weird boys are already pretty good for the price, and hopefully this will only make them better. Thank you for watching this episode of Talking About Orcs. Please subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications for new Talking About Orcs videos every Wednesday, new battle reports every Friday, and hobby videos whenever I can. Thanks for watching.